we are presenting uh, the C of Nat Nathan K, and we would like also to um, welcome, as part of the East Committee uh, member, Mr. Billy Bass. Thank you for being with us today. And the um, title of Nathan um, presentation is called "The Power of Us." And let me quickly read a bit about Nathan K. Nathan K is a trumpeter and composer from Wisconsin. He has led his own groups and has been fortunate to share music around the world. He has performed and or recorded with artists such as The Samplings, Crystal Knights, and Derry Sanchez with um, our PGGI trip at the Panama Jazz Festival last year where he was part of this group. Nathan also won the 2018 National Trumpet Competition and today is presenting his final work for the Global Jazz Institute. Welcome, Nathan. Go ahead. All right. And good luck. Thanks. So uh, first off, thanks everyone for coming, especially, um, you know, Danilo, Marco, um, Chase and Billy for helping me get to this this point in the, in the process. Um, so, yeah, uh, my presentation is called The Power of Us, and it's about exploring collaboration within your music community. Um, and hopefully by the end of the presentation, I'll be able to show you that you can find a little bit of yourself within the power of us. Um, so just a brief introduction. Um, so I decided to do a collaboration project with one of my good friends, um, Spencer much also known as crystal nice. He's a producer. Um, and he, he's more like the, he, he's, he's a music producer in the Midwest and does more like, uh, electronic music, uh, like trap music, even house music, uh, some like pop. I'm, I'm using these genre labels like loosely, you know, like what is that anymore anyways? But, um, so we d we decided, uh, I mean, like we've been making music for quite a while, but we always ask the question, like, what if we did a, a project that involved like all of our like respective music communities? So like, uh, like, you know, he has friends in the trap world and in the electronic music world. And I have friends in the classical world and the jazz world. So we, um, we basically always wanted to do a project that involved uh, all of our worlds together into one. Um, and I think this is important for me to do, especially during this whole COVID-19 crisis, because I, you know, sitting in my, in my room, I <laughs> all day long, I, I, I'm longing to feel like connected with people and, and what better way to do it through like a collaboration through a community project, um, you know, at a time when, every at a time when everyone's in their bedroom and looking inward sorry my dog's barking um uh you know i wanted to look outward um and then in looking outward i was able to look inward too a little bit um and yeah so and the the people in this project all just come from like different types of music communities um which is really interesting i'll get more into that um why isn't this okay so the musicians come from all over but a lot of them are central to the midwest um which is important for me you know i live in i live in milwaukee milwaukee area i live in a small town of okanamoa um but yeah so the musicians are all uh to me like really inspiring artists and individuals on their own um they're coming from so many different places like the the vocalist is more in, his name is ethan payton he's amazing uh he is more involved in like trap music and that kind of stuff and then like uh there's some jazz musicians from milwaukee involved in the project and then there's classical musicians from like the conservatory community um so it's basically just a culmination of like all these different avenues of music meeting in one project and with one with one voice um so like in a collaboration you know it's it's hard to it's hard to create together um but so we had to establish a couple of rules for like this this process um and one of the rules is that nobody's wrong you know a lot of people in this involved in this project come their back their backgrounds are so different like especially um like like some of us went to music school and then, but a lot of us didn't go to music school uh, and, or like dropped out of music school, you know? So uh, I think it was important to, 
to just acknowledge that um, and just realize that everyone everyone is an artist in their own way and we are all learned to like really listen and hear each other which i think was super important and i learned that we can you can really learn s something from everyone in this project no matter no matter what um uh, and the other rule that we had during this project was you know nothing is off limits uh like we didn't want to hold ourselves in any kind of box in any way and why we i use the term uh zero gravity the global the global term <laughs> um yeah so nothing is off limits shoot my thing yeah so um uh so here here's a list of the like all the musicians involved in the project so far um uh, the project's like pretty much done but you never know like it could it could it could grow even further than what it is right now um so that i just wanted to pay respect to all those all those people involved um so the process of this was uh really really uh tedious but also really rewarding and fun uh we basically have been meeting every week since june um in a studio or at an apartment or other places. And we've basically just had this, this process of writing uh, together. And I like to use the word compromising um, because a lot of, a lot of the ideas that these songs uh, uh, were based on were improvisatory ideas originally, but then we just took time to like refine it and like turn it into a full realized piece. Um, and you know, this in my head isn't, isn't that much different than you know, improvising in a quintet setting. It's just, it's just like spread out over six months and we're doing everybody individually one by one because of the whole COVID thing, um, you know, inviting people to the studio and then writing with them um, and contributing to their voice. And the, the, the process of writing was, was really uh, interesting because we, we had like a, 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 like an original conception for what all the songs were about um and so we would talk about that in these sessions we would take like 30 minutes okay here's what the project is about this is the vibe and then we'd record and we'd go from there i'll talk a little more about what the songs are about individually when we get to them briefly but yeah so here's one of the sessions this is um us recording tommy the guitarist um and that's that's just an example of of what the one of these sessions looked like that's spencer in the on the left um Another cool thing that we were able to do is uh, we recorded uh, in a church, multiple sessions. Um, uh, luckily, my, my dad is a music director at uh, one of the local churches that I grew up going to. Um, so he was nice enough to let us use the sanctuary to, to record things. So we were able to record a uh, piano. Um, we recorded an entire chime choir. We, we like played all the chimes one by one uh, to like get like the samples of them. Uh, and we also were able to record organ for this project. Uh, on the right, there's a picture of Spencer and Connor climbing the ladder to the organ chamber to get, because we had to get the microphones up there. Um, and on the left, we got the we got the studio set up on the on the altar. <laughs> I just kind of liked that one. But yeah, so like the uh, all of the all of the stuff that you'll hear in this project, minus like a couple like drum sample sounds are all stuff that we recorded ourselves and we created a lot of the sound was like discovery discovery based um so here's the, like a list of the songs of the current songs and the project in the order we were able to get five five songs um uh completed and so i'll, I'll get right into it so the first one's called false savior and this is kind of like a uh, it's expository it's it's like the exposition of the of the project that sort of like, you know, sets the sets the tone. And on this one, uh, you'll hear a lot of things. For one, we used um, a Jupiter synthesizer on a lot of this project, uh, which has been part of the sound um, of it. There's vocoder on this. Uh, we involved string players uh, on this song and also chimes from the church. Um, so I'll play you a little uh, sample of False Savior. And this is, a, this is about a little a disagreement between a couple of people.
So that's false savior. Um, so moving on in the project, uh, the second piece is called He Said. And this one is uh, really special to me because um, the way we started recording this one was by walking uh, to this bridge in Milwaukee. Um, and we there was a train passing over the bridge. So Spencer recorded that while we were walking on his, on his iPhone. Um, and then we took that sample and then just turned, we manipulated it and basically just turned it into a song and the song just wrote itself. And the reason why we, uh, the reason why we chose to sample a bridge is because the, it really relates to the story behind this song, um, uh, specifically. Um, so it was, it was important in that way. Um, so I made a video component for this one uh, to sort of aid in the storytelling. Um, so I'll, this will be probably the longest clip I'll play. Um, but this this one also features uh, global jazz student Dan Elbert. And um, this song is about uh, a friend who was uh, going through a pretty tough time in their life.
Yeah, so that's all I'm going to play, uh, he said. Um, so, yeah. Cool. Okay, so these next three songs uh, kind of kind of go together um, in, a, in a special way. Um, but first of all, I just want to like speak on a little bit of like the, the writing process with like the lyrics and everything else and some of the other things. Um, so uh, the vocalist on a lot of this, uh, this project, his name is Ethan Payton, who is just like so fun to be around. Uh, he's always a great vibe. Uh, I love working with Ethan. Um, but we, for all the lyrics, I mean, th these, these songs are based on some, some stories, some significant events that, uh, happened throughout my life in the past, like four or five years. Um, and so for e each one of these songs, like we had to like, really just, we, we would, we would spend a couple hours just like talking about what these songs are about and talking about the stories, like how they make us all feel, um, trying to find a, you know, like a universal connection through them. Um, and we we got really in like specific with like which sections represent which parts of the song like what scenes they are um and how we want to reflect it lyrically so there was a lot of thought that went into that um which was a really emotional process but a but a necessary fun one uh nonetheless um another thing that was cool with this project um was uh, the drums are uh are cool because we we uh we recorded all acoustic drums for this entire thing but then what we were able to do was we uh we were able to convert the transients into midi data so then we were able to layer the real drum set with like a synthetic drum set to make it sound really big uh but still maintain that human quality to it that human feel that touch that you just can't replicate um you know with the it's not a machine but so yeah these these songs all go together you'll hear uh things like the organ you'll hear uh strings even a prophet synthesizer uh jupiter um a lot of a lot of things going into them and then there's also the the middle song is an interlude uh like a string interlude to sort of break down the the scenes um the the first song is about just going through a it's kind of an identity struggle um and the it sort of morphs into this uh other thing where uh the other songs are more talking about like relocating and moving on um so yeah i'll, I'll just play the songs and the first song is called uh, where do i go and then i'll transition into the, the string interlude <laughs> Excuses got me feeling useless. Yeah. I knew I blew it back when I was going through it. I let you close into it. I put my heart on the table because I was open to it. Inside out got me losing on my mind. Upside down got me losing track of time. And I fall out, but I feel like I'm flying. Said I feel like I'm flying. The way you talk ought to be a crime. Make me always read between the lines, read between the lines, read between the lines. All you see is empire states and dollar signs. High expectations, I can't catch them break. Get away parties to make my escape Feel like I'm done making sense of my brain I'll just throw it away, yeah How much more can I take? If the question remains With these pieces that I can't change Where do I go?
Yeah. And then the, so the string interlude continues on for about two more minutes uh, and transitions into the final song uh, called Night Waves. First life for the last time. First ticket out on the red line. Backseat sipping white wine. White sand over white lies that we tell ourselves. A couple know it all, so we don't need no hell. Brand new city for the same old hell. Didn't tell the truth, but I wished you well. And I still got dreams of making it. Even though I'm used to faking it. I might sound a little jaded, but. But I can't explain why. Yeah, so that's that's night waves. So those are pretty much that's like a little like a taste of all of the all the different songs uh, in the project. So like reflecting on this a little bit, you know, I during this whole pandemic crisis, I, I was try, really trying to find out like what, you know, music means in a lot of ways. And I came to the conclusion that it has many meanings. You know, music is, one, is, a, is a beautiful, beautiful thing because it can be like activist. It can like, it can elevate voices. It, it so, it can represent so many colors of emotion, um, you know, which was, is it's, yeah. And, uh, for this project for me like the this music is is really just about bringing people together and in a, in a time of you know isolation and stuff like that and it's also about um you know breaking down some, my own preconceived barriers of of genre you know i i feel like i tend I, like speaking for myself i tend to like limit myself to my own circles uh and i get kind of i can get lost and consumed by that so it was really important for me to reach out and work with musicians outside of my usual circle and try to, to try to like negotiate together and, and make a piece of art that we all all feel like connected to, um, which has been it's it was super enlightening process. Um, and I learned, you know, no matter where you come from, it doesn't matter if you have a, a music degree or you <laughs> what kind of music you you play or make or you know it's no matter where you come from we can all teach each other something and we can all learn from each other which uh, is probably like my biggest my biggest takeaway with uh with this whole project um so looking ahead you know uh you know i'd like to finish mixing it these are like really like rough mixes like we we we, there, we need to spend some some days uh you know really cracking down on it um, but eventually I'd like to release it. Um, and we'll, that's down the road. And then I, I want to continue like working on large scale projects. You know, I, I decided, you know, for this project to take more of like the role as like a composer producer. Um, and I, I, I just, it was, it's, it was a very rewarding, rewarding process that I, I hope to be able to, to carry into other, into other projects, um, other kinds of musicians and yeah. And Oh, uh, you know, all in addition to like working on this music throughout the past six months, you know, with with Spencer, the the other like the main person behind this, uh, we we recorded so much other music in this uh, in the six months with with people that came into the studio and and played on this. Like we would we would write a couple other songs just to put on the back burner for later, you know. So there's there uh, there's already been things that have come out of this project external to the project, which has been cool. And so I'm looking forward to working on, on those pieces. Um, and, you know, I want to collaborate with, uh, continue the collaboration process with artists that extend beyond music, you know, like the video, I'd like to do videos, but I would like to have someone <laughs> that's not me make the video. Um, someone who uh, is a, that's what they, that's what they enjoy doing um, for a living. And so yeah, that's that's my project. That's the power of us. Um, and here's a here's a thank you to to everyone, uh, Danilo and Marco, all the faculty, um, always all the students, you know, the, all the staff and the administration, 
Chase Morin, Billy Buss, uh, Spencer Much, the one of the main producers on this. And yeah, I mean, like it's, it's been, I cannot thank this guy enough. You know, he's, he's been, he's been my rock. It's been cool. Uh, Ethan Payton, you know, just for being a tremendous, tremendous vibe and being so down for the project. And then of course, all the other musicians involved. Thank you, Nathan. Thank you for, for this, uh, musical message of unity and community. Beautiful to see, to hear your music and it's beautiful to see you smiling as you present your music it's it's great to to have that energy in the room and i would like immediately to um um give the word to our guest uh, and uh, com your committee member billy if you have any comment this is the part where we just uh, ask questions or give comment about what we heard uh, as part of the committee and the pan uh, or for the panelists Oh, uh, absolutely. I mean, I, I don't know exactly um, what my role is now in this moment. Um, I can speak a little bit about um, how uh, Nathan and I have have worked over the past couple of years. I've, I've gotten to know him uh, as a private student um, through through our Berkeley lessons and um, seen him. Uh, first of all, I'm immediately impressed with his sort of um, uh, natural musical sense and very uh interesting and unique approach to improvisation and now actually getting a chance to hear more compositionally and um creatively thinking about large-scale projects um he, he he definitely blew me out of the water blew me away with this one um in terms of the the concept and the ability to do exactly what he uh set out to do and exactly what the project was about which is um bring people together and uh that's a that's a hard task, as we all know, in a fully functioning, uh, you know, all the gears working uh, normal situation, let alone when people are dealing with personal issues, dealing with illness, potentially dealing with um, fear and just very stressful situation, as we all know. So um, for him to uh, put all this together, brought people together, transcended genre. I know, Nathan, you don't like when people use these. Uh, oh, big huge words about your music or your uh your your concepts you're very humble uh and very un, uh, un, unassuming you know very uh chill person so um but if anyone's gonna shout it out for you i gotta do that um really proud of of uh the project that you put together and i think um everyone in here would agree uh that the music is is uh definitely um genre transcending so i won't uh, i won't go too over the top but i think that when you when you bring all these people together and you get the the energy from uh human beings as opposed to just musicians and artists i feel like you really captured a very human uh, an energy of the human spirit um through the music so um i want to thank you for for uh including me in it and um letting me come along for the ride and hearing it and, and give you some some advice uh, along the way but um but yeah, I mean that's my that's my uh, two cents for what it's worth. So um, I will yield the floor. Thank you, thank you, Billy, for your comments. And uh, I would like to give the word to which I didn't mention. Uh, the advisor of Nathan K this year was um, Chase Morin. So uh, Chase, if you have uh, any question or comment um, regarding the presentation. Yeah, Nathan, <laughs> we made it. How how do you feel? We almost finished, but it it, it feels like wow. It's been such an evolution. <laughs> yeah, since, that's since one word beginning. for it. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Wow, I, I I don't think I've met with anyone, any other student as much as we've met. You know, going over so many things and and just to to just for everyone to get a little bit of knowledge of the winding pathway it took you to get here. You know, and I, I think that's that's important to remember that that pathway might continue to wind, but it is going forward, you know. So congratulations on 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 everything, on putting the presentation together, on speaking about these things. You know, being vulnerable is extremely difficult. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's really scary. It's fear and that's something that you're doing more and more of, which is uh, I think the that's the best way to run away from yourself to embrace, you know, others. And that's what I think is very encouraging about your project. The fact that you really are 
embrace, you're looking, you, you asked this in your presentation, you, you said, oh, music has many meanings, right? We all, we always talk about this as artists, oh, music, what? And then we talk, we look at ourselves, we're like, well, what is the meaning it's going to have for me, right? But you know something that's inspiring about what you're doing now is you're looking for that answer, not in yourself, but you're looking for that answer in other people, which is really beautiful. Is, is Spencer here, by, by the way? Is uh... Yeah, I think he might, I might, he might be here. He's got his camera off. I don't know. You Are you there, Spencer? I don't know. He's, yeah. <laughs> he might, he might be, you know, doing some stuff. But yeah, I, yeah. Um, I, I, I uh, yeah, I talked to him a little bit last night and stuff, but. Oh, he, he's saying in the chat, he can't unmute, but he's here. Oh Spencer. yeah. Hey, hey, I'm here. Oh. How's it going? Hello, man. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's great to see you and meet you finally. And, you know, I've been working with Nathan. I've been hearing all about you and all this, all, all the beautiful music you guys have been creating together and just wanted to, to say hi in person and, and congratulate you, both of you for the beautiful collaboration that's taken place and uh, you you have you, you guys have the answers now and I hope and is there anyone else who was involved with the project as well here um not here not not, not, not no. here yet but maybe behind me is Connor he was on the project too. yeah Connor was on the project Connor hey, Connor hello <laughs> hello yeah well, beautiful everyone thank you you know you're you're inspiring me about this search for meaning connecting with community you know finding that I, this is some, we've talked about this, Nathan, this is something I myself, this is one of the things I'm most invested in in working with others, especially others coming from different backgrounds, different places, finding those common threads, finding our connections um, and finding within that. So I just encourage you to continue with that. Don't be a stranger, come back to us, you know, stay, stay alive with, with everyone and thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Chase, thank you. Maestro Lovano, would you like to say a couple of words? Congratulations, Nathan. Okay, putting ideas in motion, you know, the power of us. You know, it takes a lot of strength and courage to collaborate with others, you know especially when you're the leader, you know, to, to have that kind of egoless um, approach within the conception of putting a piece of music together, not just improvising, but like writing it together and, and uh, speaking on all these different uh, ideas that uh, come into it for each theme, you know? Uh, you had five different, you were calling them songs, but it, it felt like it was a suite of a, like a oneness in the composition of it, you know? And uh, I would have liked to heard a little more development within each song, you know? And I needed a little more trumpet, man. Yeah. I kept waiting to hear you play and extrapolate within yeah these ideas a little more you know what i mean i know you have a time constraint and all but uh yeah that was the, that was like the hardest part of this presentation is making sure i can even get it within 20 minutes because there's so much i wanted to show yeah but you know there, there's trumpet on it there's definitely trumpet on it <laughs> i i appreciate though the way uh you collaborated man because as you develop on the scene you're in a, this multicultural, multi-generational world of expression in the music. And that having that in your life and in your uh, whole approach about playing together with others uh, will, will take you places that you can't imagine, you know? I'm just speaking for myself through the years, developing and, and collaborating with all kinds of folks uh, in the compositional, area but when you're improvising and you're doing uh, spontaneous compositions as players you're uh, you're collaborating and you know you're shaping the music and uh playing with 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 folks outside of your circle you know but the foundation is is within that circle mm. you know and uh 
to really just stay in that kind of uh, flowing um, world to create music together, you know, to follow through in the development of each piece within it. So that when you revisit something, you, you are coming from somewhere, you know? Uh, so each time, each time through is like a new exploration uh, with the different folks that you might be playing with, right? You might have different ensembles of cats uh, together on each piece, you know? I, I, yeah, the, the interlude with the strings, I, I needed to hear more from them. <laughs> that. That was really cut kind of a little short because I think that that would have really settled between those two movements, you know? Yeah. Where do I go? You're asking some questions, you know? And then that interlude kind of answered it a little bit. I would have mm -hmm. like heard more from that uh, before you went into Night Waves, but, but, uh, yeah, man. Excellent. Beautiful. To create a body of work, you know, with the video, like, uh, as a composer and a producer. That's a, that's a future, you know, where do I go? Trying to answer that, you know, with this piece, but with this whole idea of this power of us, you know, because as you develop and you start to really uh, be known, you're a producer, you know, is part is a big part of, of how you carry yourself and how you um, bring your music forward, you know, reaching forth. You know? So good luck, man. And I'm really <laughs> happy I was here to to hear your music man and your ideas about that idea power of us beautiful thank where, you joe where it's at <laughs> thank, thank you joe thank you. thank you so much for your intervention uh maestro danilo uh closing remarks uh mute maestro Let me give you a virtual hug, my brother. Come here. Um, I'm so proud. And there are many, many, let me see if I can articulate. I'm proud very much. Um, the concept of the power of us, you know, finding yourself in within that word, us, is powerful. And you have taken to a journey, very emotional journey, by the way. The music is powerful, it's wonderful. I think you were touching about you know questions that jazz brings for us which is who are you what is your purpose in life you know what do i want to do with my talent i felt all those questions being in the music you found a great team of uh peers spencer thank you very much for being a part of this and the whole team over there because i think that the real difficulties to overcome how you think about yourself how to shape who you are. And I just, I just, I'm just so proud of you fighting to find your own way and what moves you and what makes you passionate. Um, I think you have brought some thoughts to the table that I like never think a thought that you don't want to become true. You have some heat here, my my brother and Spencer. You guys have some heat. <laughs> yeah, the only the only thing I'm asking, I want to put it on the table, is that if they will become a hit, a little BGGI scholarship will be really nice to <laughs> to create the memory, because you definitely yeah. Milwaukee Milwaukee BGGI scholarship <laughs> that's right no you got some hit here the music is killing i was like wow congrats for the resilience using the zero gravity concept in within those do touching more people on it that's hip there's a lot of poison in there that is on there like all the shift of tonality little things that you're doing um congr congratulations you invested a lot of energy and passion in this um i think i want you to 
use this opportunity and remember that sometimes our thoughts are back with so much insecurity that we start believing in them. And you broke them out. You broke them out, my brother. Insecurity kills all that is beautiful in life. Don't ever forget that. You are beautiful. And every human being has that potential to become and bring the flashlight that they can be and bring light to the world. Where do I go? Brand new city, same old hell. What else you said? Knife wave. And I said, you dig. <laughs> <laughs> All Thank right. You, Thank that's, you. That's like nice. Love you, brother. Love you too. Great. I mean, you guys are making me cry. All of you. I mean, this cat, Daniel, and, uh, and you know, all these, I mean, all these people, man, you're making, you, 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 you are giving hope to this world, you know, and remember, be kind to yourself and trust your mentors. Be kind to yourself. Love yourself, Nathan. You're a beautiful man. Beautiful person. Beautiful human being. Absolutely. Nathan, do you have any final thought or th thing you want to share with us today? Any final words? No, I think, I think that's, I think that's it. <laughs> All right. Thank you. I, I guess so. Nathan. But yeah, to thank, thank you so much for every, everyone like Marco, Billy, and you know, Chase, Joe, and Danilo for all your, all your words. It's powerful. Thank you. Thank you, Nathan. Part and the Jupiter one. things, man. I love it. I haven't heard that sound in a while. The the synthesizer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's it's Spen it's Spencer's. <laughs> it is Spencer. I've been, I've, been a little, <laughs> I've been a little I've been a little jealous of, of I've I've been wanting to play play as Jupiter all the time, but yeah, it's it's fun. Man, there's so there's so much quality on it. And yes, I personally I, I agree with Joe a little bit. I a little trumpet wouldn't hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't a little more trumpet wouldn't hurt nobody. <laughs> I, I guess I'll just have to listen to the you know the listen to the record, you know. Oh, you're pulling out tricks on it. I see. I see. Yeah. <laughs> Put this out, brother. We we need it. Yeah, we did we talked about that, right, Nathan? You said you said that there's not enough time to, to show everything or to have people hear everything, but you know, the, the eternal question is what? Where was the trumpet, right? Where's the well? I guess we gotta dive, have everybody dive in, and really go explore the project when it's when it's live and up and running. So, uh, I think I think that you, you hit the, hit that on the mark there. Everybody's asking like, where's the where's that sound that we know Nate, Nathan can shred? Nathan can really throw down some beautiful some beautiful playing. Like, well, we know it's in there and we know it's coming. Uh, so, and you 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 expose like everyone else said you exposed and you you ser were searching for an, another part of yourself beyond. The bell beyond the trumpet you know and mm -hmm. you found a lot of uh a lot of um yourself in there like uh uh people have been saying before so. that's what i meant about strength and courage right right and and just moving taking it and reaching forth you know and going beyond yourself he put the trumpet in a distance and he's walking towards He's walking towards there. I see it. <laughs> Beautiful, man. Wow. So, hey, Chase. Thank you. Great job. Dr. Yes. Moore. Dr. Moore. <laughs> yeah. Nathan. Man. Beautiful, man. I, I'm, I'm really excited to listen to the, the rest of the tracks. The full tracks. Cool. Maybe, may, maybe you can uh, send me a little sneak preview <laughs> yeah well i th i guess i have to say su i'm submitting them to like the whole the project right i mean like that's a part oh, you have of no it. option that's right haha -ha. i have to <laughs> i guess i have to if i if i must you know <laughs> but yeah uh yeah I'll, I'll keep i'll keep everybody informed and i'll probably make, i'll probably do some diploma somehow you yeah know. man g give this man Spencer's spencer a diploma too give this that. man a, a <laughs> Give him a master's degree too. <laughs> Thank you. We call it the Spencer Scholarship then. So yeah. we have two. Crystal One, Knives. Two, Crystal Knives Scholarship. There That's we go. Right. 
Spencer, yeah, do, Spencer, do you have any words to share about the project and this everything? Um, I learned a lot making this. Like this is this is a lot of stuff outside of my comfort zone. And Nate really is like a brilliant, brilliant musician. That's the main thing I want to end this with. Like this guy has <laughs> can find a vision that nobody can find, and he has the broadest vocabulary of anybody I know to like make it happen. And it's it's really amazing to work with him. Oh, yeah. You hear that, Nathan? All right, he said it. Can't no no denial now. <laughs> this it. this guy spent we we met back in high school and, and we played in jazz band together. He was a jazz drummer. And this guy gave me my first copy of FL Studio to learn how to make music when I was a sophomore in high school. Yeah. <laughs> we tried to make music back then and it was really bad. <laughs> But uh, now, now it's now it's not bad. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, definitely, definitely, we've definitely both come a long way since since that those days. But necessary, necessary days. But yeah, nice to meet you, Spencer, and and uh, fantastic, Thanks. fantastic work, man, fantastic. Thank you. I appreciate, I really appreciate all of you saying so many, so many kind things about it too. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. The greater obstacles are the one that takes the most to overcome. And that's what is so beautiful about this project. It didn't go without, you know, hard work and finding who you are and you can feel it in the music, man. So, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah thank you. Well, oh. great, then, uh, Nathan, congratulations. Thank you.